A football brain trust unlike any other today on NFL Live. Lewis Riddick, Field Yates, Mel Kuyper Jr., Matt Miller joining us shortly. So we can no longer call him the other Josh Allen. He is in elite company, Lewis. Oh, why is he worth every penny for the Jags? Well, really, this is a function of dependability, Hannah. This is someone that they trust that he's going to do the right things on the field and off the field. And someone who is going to show up every week has not missed a game over the past three seasons. He's just 26 years old, has 32 sacks over the past three years, and really has been someone who, you know, on a defense that has had its, uh, that has had its issues, despite the fact that they have thrown a lot of resources at that side of the football, he has been one of those guys who has continued to deliver in terms of playing strong in the run game, being available, like I said, having a nice pass rush package that he can go to in terms of power and finesse. He's the kind of guy who can play with his hand down. He can play in a two-point stance. He can r rush over the guard. They can move him around. Look, Josh has just been one of those guys who, fortunately for me, I've gotten a chance to talk to personally a couple different times. And I'm telling you, you aren't going to find a better teammate, a better team guy, someone who really gets the bigger picture. And when you add all those things up in terms of avail availability, consistent consistency, production, and youth, these are the kind of people that you invest in and the kind of people who allow you to sleep well at night if you're a GM and an owner. So it's not, it's, there's no surprise that they've made the investment in him that they did. Yeah, I mean, what a great luxury if you have leaders on both sides of the ball. But those Jaguars field, they were one of the streakiest teams in the NFL last season. I mean, late in the year, we're talking about them vying for the top seed and they fizzled down the stretch. So how do they get past that and be more consistent contenders? Yeah, I want to get there in one second, Hannah, but I will say we're 15 days away from the NFL draft and what better embodiment of what a team wants to do in the first round than what the Jaguars just did with Josh Allen. You draft him high, he performs, he carries himself exactly how you would like him to carry himself as Lewis just was telling us about, and then you reinvest in the player. The best money you can spend is the guys that you know what they're all about. So bravo to the Jaguars and Josh Allen for accomplishing that. Now they got to hit that again with pick number 17 in this upcoming NFL draft. In terms of how they get over the hump, Hannah, this team has to A, not play down to its competition, and B, find a killer instinct. That was something that really bothered them late last year. They were 8-2. and two. They were the talk of the town. They were the potential number one seed in the AFC. And then things started to fall apart. And it all began on a Monday night football game against the Bengals. And this was before we thought that... We, Jake Browning had not really become his, his sort of fully for himself. He ended up being a solid player for the Bengals. That was the game in which he built his confidence. But then think about the end of the season, week 18. You got to win to give yourself a chance to get into the playoffs, and you lose to a Titans team that had zero to play, so, play for whatsoever. You cannot be complacent. This team must treat every game like they are facing off mm. against the class of the AFC. There were too many times in the second half of last year where they played like a team that was not prepared for the moment. Yeah, really, I mean, that, that's, the next, that's the next stage in their growth, right, is understanding that the motor has to be running hot no matter what, and that over the course of 17 weeks, you have to maintain some level of consistency so then you are able to go into the playoffs with the right kind of mindset and give yourself a chance to win against the upper echelon of teams that you're obviously chasing and you're obviously the kind of level that you're trying to achieve. That, that's really what the next evolution is, or rather the next step in the evolution of the Jack Jacksonville Jaguars is. That's why you invest in a guy like Josh Allen, because you believe he's one of the people that can spearhead that kind of growth. Now, on the defensive side overall, it needs to come in its totality. On the offensive side of the ball, it needs to come from people like Trevor Lawrence. He has to lead the way on that side of the ball because, look, you know, just average or sometimes isn't good enough, especially in an AFC that is just loaded with, you know, absolute upper echelon quarterback play, upper echelon coaching. And really right now, for all intents and purposes, that conference is the cream of the crop in the NFL. So they're going to have to take that next step. And we'll see if Josh Allen can help spearhead that next step. Yeah, when you're using terms like urgency and preparedness, those really should be a given.